Hello cutie, you're about to experience some lovely ASMR, whether it be an audio or virtual reality role play. I do hope that you enjoy. If you enjoy this content, please consider supporting me on Patreon for exclusive videos and downloadable versions of your favorite videos. This will be linked in the description below. And without further ado, here's the video. Welcome, mortal. This is heaven. And I am the angel who brought you here. It's a pleasure. Please, there's no need to worry. You're not dead. Your stay here will only be temporary. Be at ease. For this is a place of calm and peace. Before we talk about why you are here, is there anything I can get you? Anything I can do for you? I want to be a good host. <laughs> uh, it was supposed to be a joke. <laughs> angel, host, host of angels, get it? Oh well, not a very good joke. But I digress. <laughs> I did mean it when I asked if you needed anything. It's one of an angel's duties to care for mortals, and I'm happy to help you however I can. Hmm, well, even if you say you don't need anything, it wouldn't feel right to do nothing at all. This might seem strange. Perhaps I could whisper some words of encouragement in your ear? It's something we angels do for humans often. When you're on Earth, you can't actually hear our words, but you can feel them. We do our best to bring comfort to humans this way as often as we can. You are kind. You are brave, and you are valid. You deserve all the good things that come your way, and more. Be patient, and endure, and you will receive these good things. Everything will be okay. Everything will be just fine. I believe in you, cutie. You've got this. You're going to get through this. And everything. That should do. Now, on to business. As much as I wish I could bring you to heaven just to give you a break and some kind words, there is something specific I need you for. There is a particular mortal that we've decided has been an especially stellar example of a person very selfless, uh, doing their best to stay positive despite hardships. Just, well, wonderful. We want to reward them, but you see, this is the problem. We're at a bit of a loss on exactly what to do. You share a lot of similarities to this mortal, and so we've brought you here to ask for your opinion. We hope that with your help, we can properly reward them for their hard work. Well, this is assuming you're willing, of course. It's up to you. Oh, well, thank you very much. I sincerely appreciate your assistance. Now, first of all, I thought I'd run some of their accomplishments by you and ask for your impression. I'm curious to know just how good of a person you feel they are which, of course, will affect how richly they are rewarded. 
I can't get too specific since I don't want to violate their privacy, but let me give you an idea. They frequently take time out of their day for other people. They bring a positive atmosphere to conversations whenever possible. They are aware of important issues in the world and regularly bring attention to them both in person and online. And they work hard to be reliable and trustworthy. How would you describe this person? A very good person. Hmm. Wonderful. So, would you say that you would respect them if you were to meet them? Mm hmm. Okay. Mm. All right. And do you think they would make a good friend? A good partner, even? <laughs> yes. Mm hmm. Oh, yes, I'd have to agree. It can be very difficult to find somebody that works so hard for the sake of other people. At this point, I suppose it goes without saying, but would you agree with our assessment that they deserve some kind of reward for being who they are? Wonderful. Now please, remember everything you said. It will all become relevant later on, and you can't take any of it back, okay? No reason in particular, just something to keep in mind. Now then, let's move to the actual rewards, shall we? First of all, I'd like to hear your personal opinions on how you would reward this person if you had the power to. <laughs> no, don't worry. There are no wrong answers here. We may not be able to implement all the ideas you give, but I think it will be helpful to hear what you have to say without worrying about any rules. Mm hmm Okay. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. Mm. Mm, yeah, that's a good start. They have been struggling financially a little bit, so that would be welcome, I'm sure. What else? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, lovely idea. Perhaps a little trickier to implement since it involves another person's free will, but at least we can provide them with opportunities. You're being very thoughtful about this, I must say. I appreciate it. Any other ideas? <laughs> I'm not sure we can do that one. We can't violate free will, least of all when it involves that many people. It's a noble idea, though. Perhaps something on a smaller scale. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. One second, let me make sure to get this down right. Yeah? Why, yes. Now that would work wonderfully. You are certainly the right mortal to ask about this. You're very creative. <laughs> Don't take this the wrong way, but you're not very good at taking compliments. It's all right, though. This is starting to come together nicely. Any last ideas? <laughs> you're right. Much like the second, the best we can do is give them a chance. But I think a chance is all they need, wouldn't you agree? Well, looks like a comprehensive plan. Let's go over the whole thing, shall we? So, to begin with, they would receive a large sum of money from a mysterious benefactor that would be the easiest one. We shouldn't simply create the money from thin air, since spending money with unknown serial numbers could cause them problems, but there's more than enough money in the world that has been lost and forgotten, that we can just use that. After that, we give them an opportunity to pursue their dream job. Whether it works out will be completely up to them, but I'm confident that they can make the most of an opportunity. 
Next, let them have a nice, peaceful break from life. Perhaps a vacation, or simply do what we can to keep any stress and chaos out of their life for a short while. And finally, we help them meet with someone who would be a wonderful partner. There are no soulmates, I'm afraid. But there are certainly people out there for whom they would be well suited. This all sounds absolutely perfect. This is just the sort of thing we were hoping for. Now what about you? You've been very helpful. What would you like as a reward? <laughs> That's what I thought you'd say. It's very modest of you to turn down a gift from an angel, but... Don't you think you should take this opportunity? It's not likely to ever come again, you know. <sighs> again, that's what I expected you to say. That's what made this whole thing necessary, after all. What I mean is... Who do you think this mystery person we've been talking about is? You, of course. We knew that you would turn down any reward offered to you. It's good to be humble, but you're a little too humble. You don't hold yourself in very high regard, so we needed to do things in a slightly more roundabout way. I'm sure you think that. But really think. Can't you see how you do all these things I mentioned? You really do think about other people so much. You're a much better person than you give yourself credit for. And don't forget all the things you said about yourself. You admitted that you would consider anyone who does these things to be a very good person. Worthy of reward. Worthy of respect. You said it yourself when you thought it was somebody else. Why hold yourself to a different standard? I know you try very hard to keep yourself humble, but even a humble soul can accept a gift graciously. Just accept your rewards and be grateful for the opportunity. You deserve them. I have no doubts at all about this. You will receive your rewards in their own due time. Arranging these things can be a little complicated, so they won't all come at once, but I can guarantee that you will receive everything we discussed. Fortunately, it's about time for me to send you back home. We don't always let visiting mortals keep their memories of heaven, but I will allow you to retain yours. I don't think it should cause any problems. Oh, but before you go, may I send you off with a bit of a hug? It's something of a tradition, and aside from that, I just think you deserve it. It was so good to meet you. I've kept my eye on you for a while, so it was very satisfying to actually have a conversation with you after all this time. I'll continue to watch out for you in whatever ways I am able. Return home knowing that you are one of the finest people on this planet, and you have earned the respect an angel. Farewell, mortal.